Hello, everybody. Today, I'm going to be talking about Web3 Connect. Um, so what is Web3? First, we're going to talk about that a little bit. And it's a JavaScript library that allows for interaction with local and remote Ethereum nodes, as well as uh, other nodes that um, use any browser wallet. So like even Binance, Smart Chains, uh, Blockchain, and um, Phantom, and others as well. And Web3 will also be required for what we're implementing today. Anything you um, can configure MetaMask with, um, you can integrate uh, Web3 uh, with those kind of custom RBCs, anything that's Ethereum compatible. So uh, Phantom and Harmony and the one Binance Smart Chain are examples of that. So this isn't just for Ethereum based wallet. Yeah. And um, this, is, this is the documentation for Web3. You will be using it for more than just, uh, just the Web3 Connect for your wallet. So I'd recommend visiting this and taking a look through it. It's going to be in the resources section. And uh, next, I kind of want to talk about what Web3 Connect is. And it's another library that uh, takes a given provider and connects to a wallet. And this is basically the article that we're going to be using. All the code that you're going to need is really right here. You can take a read through this, but this is primarily what we'll be using. So uh, next, I'm going to kind of show off the code and show off the connecting functionality itself. So setting up, you know, we import Web3 Connect and Web3 itself. We mount the blockchain data. Component will mount is deprecated. It's component did mount now. But um, this is the functionality for loading blockchain data. All I do is I get the given provider, uh, get the accounts, the state for the account to account. You know, console log to make sure everything's there. And what my code is doing here is this is, this is literally all all that I'm using just to show this off. Um, I'm doing a ternary operator where if the account is undefined on the state, you can see the button else is going to display the account. So with that said, let's run it. And it's going to pull up a local host on, oh, it's going to pull it up on, there's the resources section, but you can go to localhost 3000. React slow sometimes like this. Not showing the button. Oh, right. Yeah, because I don't have Web3 on here on Edge because I don't use Edge. Well, for the particular browser oh no you don't you don't need it for the browser do you it's a uh, if the browser has like a window that ethereum so like a, if it detects if there's even like a wallet on there for it to connect with oh, but yeah this is what it should look like you need the extent you need an extension yeah you need the extension uh wallet connector metamask or whatever but yeah here's connecting you you really about to do this man? Oh no, it's 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 hidden. There's nothing on this. There's nothing on that MetaMask wallet anyway. I was about to say, but yeah, now it's connected. There you go. Yeah, and so um, so so you so can you do that uh, again? Given that you're already uh, kind of logged in to see, um, uh, so it automatically yeah. pulls it. It just automatically pulls it. This isn't. You don't have to approve it on the, the MetaMask. Just automatically showing the account. Yeah, it'll automatically show the account once you connect it. But if there, if you do anything like a transaction, then yeah, you're gonna have to approve it. And we gotta give it a sec. This has a quick timeout on it. I I set the timeout to be quick just for test testing these functionalities. And and so how do you see that thing where it asks you for like which wallet you want to connect? Like, well, where does that message show up? So for the which wallet part, I haven't had too much time to look into that just yet. But I'm guessing if you had um, multiple wallets connected, you could set it up to where um, you have different buttons, and each button chooses a, a different provider for that specific wallet. Like, um, I know this one has, uh, they this one by default is set to accept multiple providers. Port is informatic, but yeah, you can change these out. Yeah, that 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 that's what I was um, that's what I was thinking it, that was. I thought that was the message, but now I'm looking closely just to detect whether um, like detect which wallets rather than. The pop up screen. Look up um wallet connect UI real quick so we can get a, right. 
a, a sense of what's going on. Wait, let me let me do that on this browser actually. So it's not showing any Yeah. Any private information. Um wallet connect. What was it? Wallet connect, what was it? Uh images i mean images all right yeah um so you know like when it lists all that stuff no like go go down oh i'm thinking something like this yeah. or no yeah i thought i thought that was uh, about to pop up that's probably somewhere else in the documentation let's let's go back to the web 3js on uh, the second tab um the document, right. yeah. the documentation to see so you like let's just let's just kind of look and see where that would be so um what did my call events? So you can create an account, sign transaction, sign encrypt, decrypt. Can you go down. Oh, wallet add, wallet remove. Yeah, we should do a workshop in the future where we try to do use the Web three to to do something more complex, like generate twenty wallets, um, or something like that. I, um. Oh. And I have a, in terms of like doing that, I have a kind of a, a product that would need that many wallets or to auto generate that much. So that might be a good exercise. Get address. Um, new. Oh. Can you uh, can you look at um Web three ETH contract on the left? Web three ETH contract. Uh, yeah. there we go. All right, so they, yeah, that's how you can directly interact with the because all the all the contracts are deployed onto the blockchain, and you can even see in the block explorer these contracts. So what this is saying is allowing you to to directly get functions from that contract, which also might be a useful thing. But but really, um, it's really just kind of a quick tutorial on how to add the button. Um, and, and all that detected was the public address for that wallet. Um, and so if you want to go back to the VS code and, 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 and then we can just double check those two blocks of code again um, to, to go back and now that we saw what the button does. Yeah. Go to back to Options, the gas price, data. But yeah, um, other than that, yeah, those are the resources, component, dip mount, documentation, all that. Web3 documentation. And, and this will be made av available on DeFi Summer Resources GitHub and the DeFi Summer Discord. Can you can you go back to yeah. this code though? Um, I'm, I'm trying to I'm trying to see that code one more time now that I saw what the button does. Back to this? No, no, okay. the v VS code uh, where you where you where oh. had the Web3 model. Okay, so this state is if it's defined, show this. You need to connect. All right, go. Can you go all the way up to that one snippet where you added? So you import yeah. Web three connect, import Web three from Web three, um, and then. And can you explain what the load blockchain um data, the oh, that that oh that that basically chooses the provider. It basically like just gives you the blockchain data itself. And so the, like and the blockchain data in this instance is the account name. Because it's the get accounts function. You, yeah, you can, for this uh, tutorial, it's just the accounts. And, That's all we need. And you could load different blockchain data based on looking at the documentation and and changing yeah. the dot get accounts to whatever um, attribute you'll need. And you did this before the render, so um, okay. Yeah, that's that's pretty simple. Import async, get the data, um, and then and then render the state of the component based on what's in the data. So um, yeah, it's pretty pretty simple. So um, yep. ho hopefully all of y'all can now uh, in React implement wallet connectivity or or add basically uh, financial transactions uh, directly to your application, um, which I think this is honestly way more easier than any type of Stripe or PayPal integration to me in terms of like payment system. I think this is pretty uh. There's a lot you can do when there's um and it's pretty uh, simple to implement like you saw so 
yeah, um, anything else you want to add? Yep. And uh, let's see. Yeah, resources and questions. Yeah, so I'm, I'm going to end the recording now. We can move on to questions from the audience.